Father God, help me through this, please, by leading and guiding with the Holy Spirit in me. In Jesus' name I ask you this. Amen, amen. Now, today's title is A Little Milk, A Little Meat. Milk for the immature that needs to be nurtured and growing. Meat for the more mature. Uh, John chapter 14. I'll be reading from it first here. And this is Jesus talking, just so you know. Verse 1. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. 3. And if I go to and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. Some think that when we pass on, we're just stuck in a grave. Our souls are down here, waiting for a resurrection. Whereas when we, as we pass, and we take our last breath on earth here, we take our first in heaven. As you see, that where I am, there you may be also. This is Jesus telling us this. Not man. God himself. Four. And whether I go ye know. And the way you know. Five. Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Six. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Seven. If you had known me, you should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. Now, verse 8, Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. 9. Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long with you? And yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, Show us the Father? You see, Jesus and the Father are one. So we've seen Jesus, we've seen the Father. Believest thou not that I am in the Father? Verse 10. And the Father in me, the words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, <clears throat> but the Father that dwelleth in me. He doeth the works. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, 11. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. And there he's talking about the miracles and the healings and casting out of demons he's been doing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, that he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also. He's talking to us that believe on him, in Jesus. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Jesus is with the Father, sitting on the right-hand side. He's given us the power with his name to do the things he wants us to do. He says, with the seed of a mustard seed, you can move a mountain. If we trust in God, and we ask in line with his will... Whatsoever. By the time we're done praying, you better say thank you because he's already working on that. And remember, sometimes he's got to work through different people. Sometimes he'll even bless you through uh, wicked or evil people. You can do it. All things are possible with God to those who love him. Now, <clears throat> when we pass on, we're not going to be out there floating on a cloud playing a harp. Uh, we'll be busy on the new earth and new heaven when that time comes. See, that is going to be the real one world government of Jesus, our Lord God Almighty. His saints, that is us, 
if we stay with him, if we endure, we'll be helping Jesus and his government. No more wars, no more tears, no more fighting. Now, I can't tell you exactly what it would be like. But it's going to be, all I know is it's going to be awesome. And well worth whatever tribulation and suffering we do here. For since Jesus suffers so great, and death also for us, can we not suffer for the one who loves us so much? Do we love him enough to suffer for him? It's up to us, people. It's up to us. In Revelation chapter 21, to prove my point about the new earth, the new heaven, chapter 21, Revelations, uh, verse 1, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was and there was no more sea. Oh shit. Two. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. It's fancy. It's all slicked up. It's all shiny. It's all brand spanking new, like a bride it is for her husband. <clears throat> Verse 3, And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. I don't know about you, but I think that sounds pretty awesome. <clears throat> Four, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. We don't remember any of the past hurts and pains from earth. We don't remember anybody that's, that we have loved that's gone to hell. We don't remember the people that are down below. We are a new being as we get up there. Now, that was another sermon of mine that uh, our loved ones in heaven cannot speak to us. They can speak to Jesus to speak to us. Or we can speak to Jesus to speak to them. But they can't talk to us. They're there, and they're happier. And one day we'll meet them there if we endure to the end. If we endure to the end. Now, verse 5. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write. For these words are true and faithful. 6. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Freely. He that overcometh. He that overcometh. All things here shall inherit all things. And I will be his God, and he shall be my son. So, that being said, <clears throat> read your Bible. Build up your strength in God's words. God's words are sharper than any two-edged sword. Prepare for it is going to get a lot worse here before it gets better. We all that are older know how that works. It's always it's always the same. It gets worse and it gets and, and in time gets better. The better or the best is when we pass on from these mortal bodies into the immortal bodies. We shall receive and be with the Lord. Now, in Matthew 24, 13. In Matthew chapter 24, verse 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. James 5, 11. Behold, we count them happy which endure. Ye have heard of us, ye have heard of the patience of Job, and have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy. So, I have to say, hallelujah to the Lord God Almighty. He's awesome. He's full of mercy and love, but he means business when he tells us how he wants us to live. 
You can't just go, well, everybody's living like this, so I'm going to live like this. No, we are to live the best we can through faith and trust in God and walk the best we can like Jesus walked. Although as long as we are in these flesh bodies, it isn't possible, for we are all sinners. Ask God the Father every day to forgive us. Be merciful unto us, for we are sinners. And He will. He's faithful that way. Now, God bless all of you. Remember, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord, and there is no other. I love all of you. Have a great day. God bless you.